77 point drop. 777, that's the biggest number we've ever seen on that board with a negative sign in front of it. We're back with Ben Stein. He's in Washington. Paul Krugman, who's in uh, Princeton, New Jersey. He teaches at that uh, distinguished uh, university. Who's helped uh, presidentially by all of this, Ben? I'm not sure either one has helped. But I think the guy, what happened today was a scream, a howl of anger from America that these guys on Wall Street have sucked the blood out of this country like giant ticks, and we are sick of it, and we're not going to give them any more money. That being said, the bill still needed to pass. I think Mr. McCain should have put his prestige on the line and said this thing has to pass. But uh, as to uh, Mr. Obama, I didn't see him really going all out for it. I did see him saying it should pass. I'd like to see the two of them get together on Capitol Hill Thursday and say, please, guys, pass this thing. We'll fix the problems with it later. Please, guys, for the good of America. It's a stinking bill again, but please pass it <laughs> for the good of America. Paul, would you bet on that happening? Uh, I would be really surprised because, you know, basically McCain's only chance of winning this election is to make Obama seem unacceptable because the issues are all going Obama's way and to uh, do a joint appearance with Obama I think would be a bad thing, you know, and, and uh, the McCain campaign came out you know, just after the bill failed, blaming Obama for it, and then two hours later, McCain himself came out and said, we shouldn't point fingers of blame here. So I, I, I think they're a little bit confused about what they want to do. And look, it does. In fact, the, the, uh, the financial crisis is focusing people's minds back on real issues, on the economy. We're not talking about uh, uh, who, who can dress a moose better. And, uh, and that has been working to Obama's <laughs> advantage. You can see, you can see that, that the, the political current has been running his way this is i mean what what you know democrats are incredibly lucky they're getting to run against herbert hoover all over again i'm ben, afraid um, that is that is cruelly true we are seeing a treasury secretary who has made this president who is basically a fine kind man seem like herbert hoover Th this man should be out of treasury yesterday and they should get somebody should. in their career civil servant who will make this happen without the monstrous ben. ego Shouldn't Paulson have, have been way above par based on his background? Uh, he should have been. He should have seen the whole problem with credit coming. He should have seen the credit default swaps catastrophe coming. Look, once we've solved the problem with the bad mortgage loans, we still have not cleaned up all the problem with the credit default swaps, which is probably 10 times the problem of the mortgage default, pro uh, default situation. So we've still got a lot to clean up. There is an enormous mess out there that's happened because of deregulation. I think only McCain has the guts to take on Wall Street to make it happen, but he is by nature a deregulator, so he's by nature not the guy to do it. He's got to have somebody strong like Krugman with him there to help him. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. key, Paul, he, he wants you to Phil, be involved. <laughs> he's uh, got Phil Graham talking to him. But anyway, no, this is, but look, I, I, I'm not that negative on Paulson, but he clearly, Paulson botched it multiply in the last couple of weeks. He failed to rescue Lehman when it had to be done. Then he he said, in reward for my failure there, give me all the power. Yeah, and he exactly. had a plan he didn't explain. This was, exactly. this was, I mean, it was politically uh, a complete 10 ear. It's, it's as if he, he's been asleep for the past eight years. There's no sense of how people feel about you know, this administration in particular. It is a Are stunning you, uh, thing that he became head of Goldman Sachs. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, well. <laughs> Are you guys, Paul, are you optimistic or pessimistic? Uh, <laughs> I. You know, I, I think it's good. Look, even if this thing passes or something passes, this is going to be a long, hard stretch. The bill was nowhere close to fixing up the mess. Uh, Ben's right on that. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I think we're looking at a weak economy, possibly a lot worse than weak for some time to come. You know, we will survive. In the long run, we'll be all right. But my favorite economist, the great John Maynard Keynes, said, in the long run, we are all dead. Ben, how do you see it? You, you up or down? It, I think it's a terrifying situation for people who have a, who have a limited time horizon, who are retiring or are preparing for retire, to retire, who are retired. It's a terrifying situation. They have been done in, double-crossed, had their savings stolen from them by incompetence in government and on Wall Street, and it, they have every right to be furious. I think for periods longer than 10 years, it'll be fine. Paul, is anybody in this uh, crisis making money? Oh, yes. Uh, actually, right now, with a lot of short-selling banned, I'm not sure. 
The people uh, who bought the credit but, default swaps are making trillions. The people well, who bought the credit maybe. default swaps are going to be the richest people I, in the world. I did see that only one stock has got, went up today. And but the, that was Campbell's Soup. And uh, so <laughs> I guess the people are figuring on soup lines coming pretty the soon. The credit default like swaps. <laughs> the people who bought the credit default swaps are making literally well, trillions. Literally trillions. I don't think that's right, but we could, we, they, we could have that discussion they another could, time. Look, the insurers couldn't be losing <laughs> trillions if the people who bought the insurance weren't making trillions. It's a, it's it's not not really, really anyway. Yes, it not is. really true, but yes. okay. It's a, but no. I mean, it's, you, look, it's pretty grim. This is this is an across-the-board economy in big trouble, and the stock market is reflecting that. Paul, would you buy stocks tomorrow? No. I'm sorry. I don't ben? usually give such direct advice, but no. Uh, if I ben? had a 10-year horizon to worry about them, certainly yes. I, in 10 years, it'll be fine. But for the next few years, I would be cautious. Uh, where would you just put it in the bank? I would put it in the bank. I actually will probably buy stocks tomorrow, so I would buy them for the law for my son, who's only 21. But uh, for my own lifetime, I would not buy them. I would buy bonds. Uh, Thank believe, you both very much. Yeah. Paul, what would you do quickly? Yeah, buying bonds. Actually, uh, we, we did some recently and actually have done quite well on it because interest rates are falling, as they tend to do when the economy is in big trouble. Ben Stein, Paul Krugman, two great guys.